Hey guys, this is Taylor Welding, and I'm about to weld this six inch flange to the six inch T. And after I get through putting the bead in it, I'm going to grind the, the stringer bead thin in one spot, like a lot of helpers do when they're new. When you're grinding, it'll turn blue, and then when you go back over, it'll blow a big hole in it. And when it's on the bottom and you're in a bind and you don't know what to do, I've been there and I lived it, and I think I can help you get through it. So go ahead and hit the like button because I'm about to blow a hole in a good piece of pipe for you. <laughs> Check it out. Okay. All right, so I put the bead in it in position, and now I flipped it over, and I'm gonna show you what the bead looks like. I put the camera on the inside, but more importantly, I'm gonna get Jose to grind like he's not supposed to. <laughs> grind it too thin. So let's see how, if he can do it. All right, Jose, let me flip the camera. Grind it thin, too bad. A little more on the bottom. Moss. Oh, hold the camera. He's incapable of doing stupid stuff like that. Wow. See that blue spot? That is trouble. That's gonna blow out. And to make this more interesting, I'm gonna put it on the bottom and let you see what happens. Let's use a five millimeter. Let's make it really nasty. Yeah. bottom is usually where you're going to blow out. I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time. A lot of times these helpers, if they're green, will grind the bottom twice. They'll grind it from one side and they'll walk around the other and grind it again. You'll be just welding along, like always. Stepping on the bottom like you're supposed to. Oh man, I blew a hole in it. All right, let's look at the bottom. Oh. 
There's a hole. A big old good one. All right. Here's what you're gonna do when this happens, because it's gonna happen in your career. Get another 6010. No, you're good. Jose doesn't know what's going on. You're gonna wanna grind that back just a little bit to try to make it look like this again, because you're gonna go you're wanna gonna go all the way through it. And then all the way through it again. So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. All right, that's what it's supposed to look like. Well, that ain't what it's supposed to look like. That ain't supposed to have a big old hole in it. But I'm gonna turn my heat a little bit lower than what I usually do. I'm gonna put this baby on the bottom. You can shine it in that hole. You're gonna go up to the hole just like normal. Go on, go along. Oh, you gotta stay there. You're not gonna be able to get it all. Just keep going. Put the whole bottom back in if I guess. All right. Hand me the grinder. Let's flip it over for them. So that's what it looks like. There's still a hole right here. I'm gonna grind this back down. Now we're gonna hit the rest of it. Because when there's a big hole, you're not gonna get it in one pass. Oh. oh yeah. If it wasn't holding my camera, I'd have it turn it down. We go around the other side. Wasn't supposed to do that. I think he ground the whole bottom with the That's all right. It's part of it. I'm back from this side and hit this hole. I'm starting to go up here. There we go. Now I'm going to get my five millimeter that I took out. these are 75 cents a piece. Hard to believe, but they are. All right, see that grind? repaired the beads back in it way more bead than I wanted to put in it but I think when I told him to grind uh, he ground the whole bottom thin that's okay it's part of it yeah. we're not used to grinding holes in pipes yeah now we're gonna hop past that hole oh turn me to six You don't want to stay on it long because you know it's thin. Alright, I 
inside. I got this baby. I'm gonna unbolt it for you and show you the inside of it. That's the bottom. It's kind of heavy, but it's in there. So, I hope this helps somebody, guys. And I'm not doing this to try to show off or do anything like that. I'm doing this to help you young guys and people just getting in, and even people that have been in for a while. I've done this for 20 years. And I'm just trying to help as many people as I can do it for their self, because it's a good living. And then you can take that money you make from doing this and turn it into gold and silver. And then we can go to the Bahamas one day. <laughs> Y'all have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next one.